Hi, I'm Ravi Shankar. Uh, I'm a program manager in the Visual Studio Cloud Services team. And today I'm going to walk you through the end-to-end -end stakeholder feedback uh, capabilities that we have introduced using the browser extension. We look at manual testing, not just from a planned manual testing perspective, but also user acceptance testing, exploratory testing, and stakeholder feedback. For the past year or so, we've been focused on the following three themes. The first one, making testers an integral part of the Agile teams, so it's no longer a siloed activity or a siloed entity. Second one, everyone owns quality in Agile teams. And this is where the stakeholders, not just the engineering team, but also stakeholders can be part of uh, the quality and drive quality as and when the product is actually evolving and not necessarily wait for the end uh, thing to actually come along. And the last part is about testing for enterprise customers where you actually need the full test case management capabilities. In this video, as I mentioned, we're going to focus on theme number two. Okay, um, so here we have got a, a story uh, on the board, which is uh, where the testing is completed, looks good. I want to actually get feedback from my stakeholders. Uh, it's now very straightforward uh, to do the same thing. Um, open up the work item form, go into the context menu and say request feedback. And in this uh, dialogue, you just specify the stakeholders that you want to actually invite feedback from or request feedback from. In this case, let me type in the feedback, uh, the stakeholder here, dummy account, and I will also CC myself just to show you the, the scenario. And from here, you can actually add your subject to say requesting feedback uh, um, on this milestone. Um, and I can put in my instructions accordingly over here. Uh, Okay, and once I'm sort of done with uh, what I want to send this off, I can do a quick preview, which shows me what email will actually go out uh, to my stakeholder. And if uh, I'm good, I can actually go and hit the send button. This actually sends off an email request uh, to my stakeholders. Uh, a quick way to monitor that is if I can actually go and do a query on the particular user story that I'm interested in. We just created a, a feedback request that I can actually track down to say how many, who all did I send it to and what are the responses that actually come back. So what this would have done in the background is uh, sent off email to my stakeholders um, and we'll take a look at how uh, the email shows up for the stakeholder. Now, as you can see, this is the um, email that the stakeholder would receive to say which uh, project and which team, who's requesting the feedback, the, the text that was put in, and, and the instructions that are being provided. Right from here, I can click on uh, Provide Feedback button, and this would launch my browser instance and set things up. So what we have now enabled is the ability to do your end-to-end uh, -end stakeholder feedback using the browser extension in Firefox. So if I actually go look up the Firefox version, uh, in we support starting from 50.0. So in here, now the extension is already installed in my case, and that's what's blinking. So if I click on that, it gives me the entire context of who requested it, what were the instructions, also in context of that extension. And the session is already started, so I can actually start with my feedback right from here. So let me go ahead and this is for the surface dial. So let me actually go in and look at that particular site. And now I'm just doing uh, uh, exploring the uh, web application as a stakeholder, looking at uh, the things that I feel are critical. So for example, I can go in, no, not the devices. I can go click on the accessories. I can click on the surface dial because that's what I want. Uh, my engineering team has requested feedback for, from me. So now I can see that, uh, but this doesn't look good. I'll, let me capture something as a screenshot right here. So again, from Firefox now, I can take screenshots as part of my uh, browser extension. I can annotate. I can say too much white space here. Uh, 
um, and record this off. Now, similar to uh, filing of bugs, um, I can also, as a stakeholder, can also sort of uh, go and provide feedback right from here. And one other thing in the background that has happened is because it automatically figured that I was logged in as a stakeholder, it set me up in the right context and enabled the capabilities that are available for stakeholders. So in this case, because I'm logged in as a stakeholder, now I see the feedback response capabilities. In addition, if you actually look at it, it also captured all the steps that I had also done uh, as part of my exploration or testing of this application. So the actions are automatically recorded. In addition, it also shows up the, the time it has taken for the web, app, web page to actually load up. And it has all the annotations that I've also taken in, in one place. So I can provide my feedback from right here to say, uh, too much spacing does not look good. In addition to this, I can also, if, if in this case I would, I was I'm creating it as a response, but in addition, I can also uh, rate it to say how good I feel about this particular area or not. And now when I do a submit, it actually sends off uh, the work item in the background and sets it up. So I can actually look up to say, yes, I'm exploring that feedback request that was generated, taken screenshots, and have responded in this particular manner. I can continue on with uh, additional testing. Um, and from here, if need be, I can create a bug or create task for my engineering team. Um, so this is about uh, going through the application and providing feedback as a stakeholder. In this case, let's say I'm actually done with this um, exploration. If I act now go in and look at the all the requests which are present, I just acted upon this one, which was a surface dial, and I think I'm done with this, and actually go ahead and say complete this. And when I do that, it actually goes away from the pending list and gets into the completed section. I can, for items where I don't want to provide feedback, I can actually decline those off right from here as well. So now I can see that there are no pending items for me as a stakeholder when I'm connected to this particular team and this particular project and this particular team. Um, this list changes depending upon which team you're connected to. You can also look at all the completed items or the declined items. If I want to do um, provide feedback on a declined item, I can select that and uh, start off giving the feedback, so which will again put me back into the pending state. In addition to this, uh, so this was about the end-to-end -end workflow where the engineering team requested for feedback and the stakeholder provided the feedback. Um, this tool, this browser extension also enables you uh, to directly provide voluntary feedback. So I am not responding to anything. I can actually start off a session right from here and continue on, let's say, on, on a completely different place and I see some other issue, I can actually go ahead and, and record that from here as well using the same capabilities which were there uh, about filing a bug or a task or, or a feedback response. So allows you, the extension allows you to um, provide your feedback either in a solicited mode or in the voluntary mode. Um, this was from a stakeholder perspective. So if I go back to uh, the engineering view of things and, and now do a refresh here, now you'll actually see that uh, the responses have actually come in for that particular request, which is actually going against that particular user story. Okay, in the demo, we looked at uh, how using the Firefox browser extension can actually complete the end-to-end -end feedback cycle from the stakeholder starting from requesting feedback to the process of completing the uh, and providing the feedback back to the engineering team, both in solicited and voluntary mode. To know more about it, you can take a look at the test and feedback extension on the Visual Studio Marketplace site. Uh, in addition, you can also look at the test manager extension uh, which gives you the full test management capabilities. Thank you.